Hey, hey! Good evening! How is everyone? Hello, hello! Whew! Saturday is a busy day for me. I've literally just had a bath. Like, has anybody else had them days where I just felt like I'd done, cleaned the house, done the kids stuff, took them swimming, done this, done that. And I was just like, oh, just let me lock myself in the bathroom for 15 minutes and just hide from the world. It was amazing. It was amazing. 15 minutes of peace and quiet and a hot bath with a bath bomb. It was amazing. So I'm feeling all nice and oh, relaxed. That was so nice. But it is a bit late in the day to be having a bath and getting like <laughs> making yourself look human. I know that but hey ho. This is the mum life. So I'm going to do a really fresh, um, just fresh natural evening kind of makeup just so i feel like a human i'm going to start off with a little bit of primer do get asked a lot what's the point of primer do i really need one but it does quite a lot of things a primer it makes your makeup last longer is the first one um it stops your makeup sinking into your pores and it makes your makeup go on evenly because without a primer it goes into your pores and it doesn't go in evenly to your pores so you can sometimes end up with like an odd um uneven look and if you've got dry patches foundation will cling to the dry areas so putting a primer on first just preps your skin so that it's ready for your makeup so that's on now the good thing about primer i don't know if you know this but you can actually put it if there's any left on your fingers on the ends of your hair if you get quite dry split ends i always use the last bit of my primer don't let it go to waste i just run it through that last bit off my fingers so i'm going to do nice and fresh so what that means for me is BB cream because it's a medium coverage. You can still see your skin through it. Full coverage is where you can't see your pores. It's completely poreless. It should go in out perfect, perfect face. For me, when I'm just in the house, I prefer like a medium coverage, which is a, it basically means you can see your own skin. It's enough coverage to give you that bit of added confidence, but you can see your own skin through it. So it feels more natural. So I just wipe that on my brush. And it's, it is a treatment as well, a BB cream. So you're getting all that hydration and good stuff into your skin. And feeling like a bit put together kind of thing. So I just whack it on and blend out from the inside of my nose and just up. Little circles. And I always use a flat-ended brush just because I can't be doing it with the faff of blending for ages you know with a little tiny brush that you've got to like no i just want to get it on get it done now i do have a bad habit of forgetting to do the sides of my nose and over the eyelids because i do sometimes get like a bit darker however i have noticed with the collagen that my eyes are not looking usually my eyes are more red than that and I go over with the foundation, it makes a huge difference. But to be honest, around my eye area is definitely much lighter and brighter since I've been taking the collagen. And I've only done, how many have I got left in my box? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, five days away from doing 30 days. I've done 25 days. Noticing so much difference though. There we go. Just feels healthier and more glowy and my hair feels thicker. Like I don't know. My hair's quite thick anyway, but definitely feels better condition. Alright, let's get that on. So nice little medium coverage. That's all I want. I, when it's like a Saturday night and I'm not going anywhere. Medium coverage. And the nice thing about the BB cream is it's like a glowy, it's like a dewy finish. So it gives you that healthy glow kind of feel. So I'm going to just leave that as it is and just add a teeny bit of blush just for a bit of colour. And I'm going to put that a little bit higher than I used to do in my 20s. I've kind of, this is kind of new things for in the 40s. I can't remember where I saw this originally, but just putting your blusher a little bit higher up than you used to do. It's kind of the top of your cheekbone here and just blend it up. It seems to just give a more natural kind of, you know, glow to your face. It's weird. I never thought I used to bring it lower down. Hey, Michelle, I'm good. Thank you. Hey, Vicky. Hey, Lee. 
Um, and then what I do, this is the ultimate. Get your highlighter and just go. So I'll just grab a little bit. And don't get me wrong, my skin is glowing a lot more because of the collagen. It's a huge difference. But if you just add a little bit of highlight to your cheekbone, look at that. Look at the glow. So yeah, I'm double I'm double whammy in here because I'm putting collagen on the inside for the glow and I'm putting highlighter on the outside for the glow. So I'm like I'm giving it the double glow. All about the glow, girls. Look at that. How nice and natural does that look? Just a little bit along the cheekbones. You can put a little bit sort of down your nose if you want to. I'm more here. This is where I go with the heart. Look at that. We're loving the sparkle. <laughs> hey, Margaret. So that is me with the sparkles. I just love it. And then if you feel as though your um, under eye is dark, grabbing something like a skincare concealer ours has got hyaluronate in it which really really hydrates your under eye area now if you're 40 or over 40 please don't be tempted to do that full v that you see loads of people doing on the tiktoks and reels and stuff it's great when you're 20 but if you put a big v full of makeup on under your eye and you're 40 or over 40 what you're going to find is in 10 minutes when you go and look back in the mirror you're going to have concealer lines. <laughs> it's not a good look. You're going to have like really, really obvious lines and wrinkles under your eye because the makeup's just going to sit in it. Whereas if you just put a little bit on and tap it, you get a really natural, fresh under eye. And just take it right up the side there. Look at that. How much, how much more natural is that? What we want is to be looking younger and healthier, ladies, not caked on. The vibe for me in my forties is to look younger, healthier and fresher, not caked in makeup. So little, little, it, less is more, but look how much brighter that's made my under eyes. Just by taking it a little tap in a V-shape and there's nothing sitting in them fine lines and wrinkles less is more less is more ladies in your forties it'll make you look younger feel better feel fresher like that's the vibe you want to be going for because too much makeup sometimes um can just make you look older because it sits in your fine lines and wrinkles and what you want to do is you know hide the fine lines and wrinkles and and show off your natural beauty um so all i'm going to do i'm going to i think because it's coming up to valentine's day i'm going to do a little bit of a natural pink um Oh, thanks, Michelle. Um, I'm going to go with, I love this palette because it's rose gold. I've got the gold, the pink, a little bit of a lighter gold. And when you mix them together, you get like a gorgeous blend of rose gold. But actually, what I'm going to do is just go with the pink. You can put these on individually as well. So if you're thinking, oh, my God, I'm not like good enough to kind of do really complicated eyes. I sometimes find that one, one shade is just as pretty as sitting for hours and doing... Like a really complicated smoky eye so i'm going to put a little bit of eye primer on now i do get asked a lot about this as well like do i need an eye primer like what's the point and i'll be honest i was the biggest skeptic when it comes to like extra things i was like why do i need an eye primer? do i really need an eye primer and i kind of tested it i got one this is our um eye primer now saying that said concealer will do the same thing but what I found is through trial and error is that when you don't put primer on your colors go on really bright but they don't last that long they start to go more dull after a few hours whereas with a primer on you can check your makeup in like seven or eight hours and the still your colors are still as bright as when you put them on so yeah if you're going somewhere special and you want your makeup to stay bright I would highly recommend just putting a teeny bit of eye primer on or concealer now I'm going with this dusty pink I'm just gonna put a little bit of dusty pink on nothing too crazy just a little subtle shimmery pink and I'm just gonna put it all over the lid I do find that you know that simple simple eye looks look really pretty you know like I think we can stress ourselves out thinking it's got to be 
three different shades and it's got to be blended in and all this stuff. Sometimes for me, I think a simple sweep of a colour just gives you a nice natural, nice natural makeup. And all I do is go all the way across the lid and then using the angle of the sponge brush, I'll just take it out into the corner a little bit more and bring it around the eye socket. So that you get a little bit of colour just in the crease. Now you can then, if you've got like the other ND brush, just blend that out as well. Just take it around. Take it up a little bit, just into your crease. There we go. Subtle. And just a little pop of pink. You know, like such a nice neutral shade i am all about that simple easy fresh makeup but you've got loads of little choices in there the gold is very nice that's uh, that is one of my favorites too um but what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop on i think i'm going to go with the twisted today don't know if you've seen this one before actually um just fell off. um the twisted mascara this is a bit of an alternative to the fiber one if you're wanting like a really natural looking lash this has got two wands in it. It's got like a thick wand for the middle of your lashes. So you can just kind of blink and go and get the middle lashes. And this is like a defining one. So what this does is it picks up all the little individual lashes. So you end up with a really, really natural looking lash and I just blink onto it there we go love it but the cool thing about this one is you put that back in hold the silver bar and unscrew the top and you've got this little teeny tiny one so what this does is this helps you get those little lashes on the middle without sort of smudging your makeup And then as you go back over with it, it gets all the lashes in between as well. God, can you hear Joe on his PlayStation? Does anybody else, anybody else's kids sound absolutely mental when they're on the PlayStation? It's just like the noise that comes out of him is just like, what is going on? Look at that though. If you want natural and fresh, this is a really nice alternative to the 4D. Do use this quite often because I do like that just you know if you're just in the house and you just want you just want a bit of something on but you want it to look really natural and not kind of too dressed up this is like my Saturday night movie night vibe kind of thing you know like just nice and fresh I'm gonna go in with that little tiny wand just to get the little lashes and then take it all the way over. Just picks up everything in between. Look at that. Love it. Just nice and wispy looking lash. Bit of a different feel to the 4D. Not quite as dramatic. But it's nice and fresh. Sometimes you want something a little bit different, don't you? Just nice and, you know, in the house chill kind of vibe. Now I'm going to put on, I think I'm going to go with... A little bit of a pink gloss while I've gone with like quite a dusty nude pink. I'm going to do the same with the lip gloss. Dusty nude. Bit of a pink pop. And it is coming up to Valentine's Day. So I've got to like show a little bit of willing with the pinks. I actually like that though. It's like a dusty pink, isn't it? It's not too pink. And even the lip gloss is quite subtle, subtle pink. And then if you want to take the lips up a notch, really cool way to do that is to just put a little bit of the Hottie Lip Plumper over the top. 
and this will sort of this, this is like such a cool idea it's basically um, a plumping gloss so what they've done is they put peptides in it and um, that stimulate the collagen in your lips so when you put it on it starts to like tingle you get like a bit of a tingly lip situation for about 10 minutes but it's not like a pain do you know what I mean it's more like a warm tingle and then within, and I do overline a little bit so that the tops of my lips sort of plump. But within about 10 or 15 minutes, you do get like a bit of an extra, an extra plump to the lips. So there we go, ladies, all nice and fresh. I'm loving the glow. Let me know in the comments if natural is your vibe because... I am just feeling the BB cream at the moment. Feeling the BB cream and a little bit of highlighter. I just like that nat natural, fresh look. So yeah, have an amazing, amazing evening, whatever you're doing. I would love to know in the comments what your preference is with the eyeshadow. Are you a go bold or are you a go neutral like we've done today? Bold or neutral. Right, have an amazing evening, whatever you're doing. And I'll see you soon. <laughs>